Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden and welcome to The Geek Group. We are back in the high voltage lab after a two year reconstruction of just cleaning and painting and contractors and all new electrical and safety systems and all kinds of fun stuff. But we're back now and we're in action and it's weedly, it's small but it's a beginning and for that I am exceedingly thankful because this was made entirely possible through awesome people like Mr. Kidwell, Casey and Sam as well as massive support from the Internet Relay Chat, the Geek Group IRC, which you can join if you go right here. It's free to everybody on Earth. But what they've done so far is amazing. Not only did we get construction started on the big new coil winder system, which is beautiful, and that's an ongoing project. You're gonna see a lot of video on this. We have added some massive new sponsors and it's going really, really well. We've also actually been, even before it's done, we've been actually using the winder. So we've already wound four inch, well, we started with three inch. So we've done three inch, four inch, six inch, and eight inch coils on it already. We're about to do 12, 14, 18, and even 26 inch coils on it. So it's coming. Lots and lots of stuff is happening there. But as a celebration of all of this coming together and the fact that between when we destroyed that old high voltage lab and when we built a new one, we got an Edgertronic camera, thank you IRC. We figured it might be fun just to fire up our first little toy four inch Weedly NST power Tesla coil and shoot some really, really beautiful video of just arc propagation because arcs are fun and it's a big part of why we do this. So let's talk about what we're looking at here because this is really cool to see and since we've had to slow it down so much, the audio would be really, really bad to listen to. So almost as bad, you get to listen to me. So let's look at what we're seeing. What's actually happening here is the primary coil and the tank circuit is driving the secondary into resonance. It's like ringing a bell. And that raises the voltage so high off the top, the electrons actually jump off the top of the Tesla coil from, from the knitting needle there. And what you're seeing is the actual paths the plasma takes as it's trying to find ground. Now, what we've done for this video is we've set up a big ground target, which you can see video of me making that in the blog. But when it hits the ground target, it actually makes what we call a power arc because there's a complete circuit to ground. And when it's not hitting that, we call those streamers. And streamers are, you're, you're looking at electron plasma shooting through space and you can see that it can look a little different frame to frame and the reason for that is because this is this is very very hot and it heats the air around it which causes it to go up so it's very similar to a Jacob's lab. You'll also notice as you watch it when an ion trail is really established when you've got a good solid streamer going there they twist and wind and if you look at the patterns by which they twist and wind, you'll see that this is a familiar pattern if you get on Wikipedia or even here on YouTube and start looking at videos of how rivers evolve with oxbows and such. It's the exact same type of thing happening. This fractal math is stuff that you'll see all throughout the entire universe. And it's really, really cool to see similarities in these kinds of things. All right, so I want to thank you guys for hanging out with us and just enjoying the really nifty arc video that we got to shoot there. You're going to see a lot more of that. And something we want to know from you is what do you want to see in the high voltage lab? What do you want to see us do? What kind of projects do you want to see us build? What stuff do you want to build? Because this isn't just our lab, it's yours. You can become a Geek Group member and come here and join this and do this and build things here. That's the whole point. We're going to be sharing videos and designs and engineering notes and everything for Every single thing we build in this room, that's the point. So let's work together and see what we can do. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden, and you're not. And as always, we'll see you next time. If you've only seen our videos, then you've only seen the smallest fraction of what the Geek Group is. It's a place where you can craft, improve on, manufacture, repair, rediscover, test, discuss, research, and share just about any project in a one-of-a-kind massive facility with tools and equipment you might otherwise never get the chance to touch let alone use for your own projects. The Geek Group is a learning institution. We're people with different skills, backgrounds, and perspectives, figuring out how to make ideas a reality and sharing those insights with everyone. To help you along the way, and to get help from you, 
are tens of thousands of members from around the world connected to the lab in real time through internet relay chat and live streaming video. A single-minded appetite for knowledge and a drive to create are traits common to all geeks. We found a way to amplify those traits, a way to give you the resources you need to improve lives. Get involved at thegeekgroup.org. We thank the Future Girl Foundation for the grant that made these videos possible. GIMS! And the thousands upon thousands of purchases and private donations from members and viewers like you that keep this place running. Thank you.